Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 If he's four days late, he'd still be on the <laughs> Scripture memorization is nope. 50 yeah, years old. That's exactly right. 50 Amen. years old. Wow. Went to heaven knowing you're about the New Testament. That's Amen. True. So don't right. think it's too late to start. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's good, and you just have to be uh, focused on right. it. Amen. Right. And not have COVID fall. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, I'm going to get to heaven. I'm taking the fifth on COVID fall. <laughs> I was doing pretty good, Lord, and then them Chinese invaded me. Man, that's a war we couldn't hardly handle. Somebody else. Daniel 10, won't you stand with me tonight? Now listen, I'm going to preach an application. And Daniel chapter number 10. Don't you understand so? Don't come here looking for prophetic theology out of the in Daniel chapter number 10. Come on, brother. Got time to go up into everything in the time frame. Amen. Some people just get overwhelmed with prophecy. I mean, they, and, uh, a lot of times they, they, uh, they're hoping to find out about something that don't even pertain to them. That's right. Let yeah. y'all in on something. Come on. Let me let you in on this. I'm not concerned what takes place here right. during the tribulation. Right. Yeah. 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 That, I mean, that shouldn't interest you. I That's mean, right. we got other business to right. there too, like right. marriage supper of the land. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sounds a whole lot Praise more Christ. intriguing right. than scorpions and hey. Hey. men wanting to die and take right. out. I'm glad I'm going to be alive and get to live. Amen. Instead of dead and wanting to die. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be just happy. Happy, bless God. I'm in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Now listen, if you, if you want to learn all that, you can. You want to study it, that's fine. And, and there's a time for it. Yeah. Right. It's called Sunday school. You ought to try it. You know. Amen. People going around putting up posters, prophetic, prophetic preaching this week. Yeah. Lord help me. Amen. Let me tell you, friend, I'm just glad I'm going to meet Jesus. Amen. 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 Are you getting me down a little? I appreciate yeah. it, y'all, because I was trying to talk it down, but it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So listen, don't, don't think. He preached right out of context. I'm going to make application of the text. And, and if you want a, a great synopsis, 
Come Come on. On. Get all of the Green's book on the book of Daniel. Amen. That's right. Amen. You know, that probably That's took him a decade to write. Yeah. And you ain't going to finish reading it if he starts. You really don't care anyway. <laughs> don't come here to critique me. You understand what I'm saying? Just let me help you. Just let me help you a little bit. It will all be a lot better off. Amen. That Daniel chapter 3, and I, I'd love to read the whole chapter. We don't have time. These are long verses. Let me read a few verses to you. Verse number 8, we'll start there. And it starts with therefore, and I think Brother Daxton made it clear. That means we need to have understanding of the things that took prior to it. Amen. Uh, to be specific, there was a Daniel. There was a date. And there was a deity. You can preach on that if you want to, but amen. It just... Just the thought, there's a Daniel that's mentioned here in Oakley. And then he gives us a, a date in verse 4 and the 4 and 20, 20th day of the first month. That's the, you see that? The 24th day of the first month. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Just do some just simple that's Jewish right. calculation. Yep. It's on the 10th day of the uh, first month that they bring that, that Passover lamb in. Somebody say that. Amen. Amen. Kill it on the 14th day. Yep. Uh, and then by, then they'd have the uh, the feast of unleavened bread. Amen. 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 So right dab in the middle of a, a big time for the Jews, but yeah, here they are in captivity. Right. It's during that time in verse number five, he lifts up his eyes, five and six, and he saw, he sees the deity, the divine nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, a theophany, a pre-incarnate Christ. You want prophecy? Amen. That's going to happen in the future. Right. This happened before he ever came. Somebody amen. say, amen. 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 Christ come and paid him a visit. That's right. And gives him a description right. of the same Jesus Christ that John saw in amen. Revelation right. chapter number one. Amen. We can find detail in verses five and six. Amen. And seven, you'll find that description there of Jesus Christ. Uh, same one that John saw Revelation yeah, 1. Yeah. And he says, I, I fell at his feet as dead and yeah, put his yeah, right yeah. hand upon me. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He said, Fear not, for I'm the first and the last. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm he that was dead and alive from yeah, every yeah, yeah. yeah. having the keys of death and hell. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Hell and death. Yeah. Amen. Same one John saw. Amen. Same one day yeah, 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 yeah. This little nugget to toss out at you if you study very much about prophecy and coinciding the book of Daniel Amen. with uh, the book of the revelation of Jesus Christ penned by John there while the Isle of Patmos. You also find that they saw a multitude that, that couldn't be numbered. Right. They've both seen it. That's something that's going to happen, yeah. but something that hasn't happened. Here's the good news. You know what they are looking at? They's looking at you. Right. <laughs> and they's looking at me. Amen. I'm glad, thank God, that I am part of the number. Uh, the same boys that God chose uh, for a particular purpose. Uh, to see the deity and the divine nature uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he also allowed them to see those that had been redeemed by the blood. Uh, Thank God for the blood that has yeah. been applied to our lives. That's good, I've already been seen in glory. Paul said we're Let seated him. together together in heavenly places. I'm glad there's a couple witnesses that God let look into the future. Amen and see us there. You ought to say amen. Amen, amen. 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 brother. Good. Amen. So Verse number eight, therefore, therefore I was left alone and saw this great vision and there remained no strength in me. Amen, amen. For my covenant was turned in me into corruption and I retained no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words. When I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face and my face toward the ground. And behold, uh, and hand touched me. Right. Sounds a whole lot like what happened to John. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, which yeah, yeah. set me upon my knees. Uh, 
and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright. For unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia was stood me one and twenty-one days. But by Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remained there with the king of Persia, kings of Persia. Now am I come to make thee understand what shall befall thy people in the latter days. For yet the vision is for many days. And when he had spoken such words unto me, I set my face toward the ground, and I became dumb. Behold, one night the similitude of the sons of men touched my lips. Then I opened my mouth and spake and said unto him that stood before me, O oh, my Lord, by the vision my sorrows are turned upon me, and I have retained no strength. May I remind you in verse 8, when he saw the great vision, there remained no strength, he said in me. He spoke of how his comeliness was turned into corruption, and again he retained no strength. Here in verse number 16, as these visions are sorrow turned upon him, he said, I have retained no strength. He's lost all strength and ability. Uh, verse 17, how, for how can the servant of this, my Lord, talk with this, my Lord? For as for me straightway, here it is again, there remain no strength in me. Neither is there breath left in me. Then there came again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Touch me one night the appearance of a man. Amen. And he strengthened me. And said, Oh man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee. Be strong, be, be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Father, God, tonight we thank you for your goodness. Lord, what a privilege it is to be in the house of the Lord again tonight. God, I stand in awe. I'm absolutely amazed, Lord, at what you've done in the lives, God, of sinful man. Lord, we're thankful and grateful. And Lord, we bless your name for it tonight. God, I thank you for these that have testified, Lord, of being a first-generation Christian. God, I thank you for those that chose to, uh, Lord, lay down a heritage and a goodly heritage at that, even where one, Lord, didn't used to exist. I'm glad there's a starting place in the heart and mind of God. Lord, I pray, Lord, now that you touch me. God, give me wisdom, Lord, in what to say. Touch your people, Lord, in their ears that they might be receptive to the word of God. To the sinner, I pray for conviction, old time conviction in a convicted way. Yes. Oh, that you may draw men unto yourself. Lord, make preaching easy. 
Stir our hearts and we'll thank you. We'll praise you. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I, I appreciate you standing. You can be seated. I, I grew up, my mom and dad were very young. When I was born as 16 year old, my dad and my mom had just turned 15 years old when I was born. Just had turned 15 years old. My my dad was one of five and he was the eldest. So the baby girl and myself were just about the same age. She's just a couple years, uh, just a couple years older than me and we were raised more like brothers and sisters right. since it was my aunt and has her nephew. And in fact, we started in school, you know, uh, everybody just assumed with the same name. Most times we yeah. either ride the same bus or my parents or my grandmother, her mother would drop us off. So oh, it was always riding together and, uh, and we were very close. Uh, don't let this scare y'all. I'm going to scare some of you homeschoolers here probably just a bit. But uh, she is boy crazy, real young. And why I'm saying don't let that scare you, we, we've often tried to suppress our children, you know, uh, uh, you know, not to get too boy crazy or girl crazy too young. And I think we ought to be promoting it instead of suppressing it. Bless God, we wouldn't have all these effeminate, lip-handed. Come on! Come on! Running all over. Yeah. Somebody yeah. say amen. Yeah. Amen. I mean, uh, we, we just, we, I, I don't ever remember telling anybody having to tell me to like girls. It just came amen. back to you. Amen! 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 I can to it yeah. or persuade. And I, my Aunt Judy didn't have to be persuaded to like boys. I, I guess, I guess if I was. If I was five, maybe six years old, then she'd have been eight, maybe nine. And there's this boy down at the skate ring, and y'all pray for our parents. They're both in heaven now, but they used to let us go skating. Y'all okay? Amen. Don't judge us just yet. Amen. We used to, they used to take us down there and let us go. And there was this boy named Scotty Yorton. He was about a year older than my Aunt Judy. So I guess he's probably about 10, and he's the best skater in town. I mean, 10 years old, he can skate better than adults. Y'all don't understand, I grew up in the 70s, so I'm amen. talking about the days of the disco. Somebody say amen. <laughs> and old Scotty, he could disco on them roller skates. Yeah. He could skate sideways, he oh, yeah. skate backwards, frontwards. I mean, he was, he was a fight. They hung in races, you know, and he was the fastest. He's the fastest frontwards. He's the fastest backwards. Right. He's the fastest sideways. I mean, whatever he wanted to do, he could do it. Boy, my, my Aunt Judy liked him. <laughs> and uh, and he, I guess he kind of liked her. Y'all understand, you know, just they just see each other there at the skate ring. That's about all that ever came of it. I, I, and I've not, we've not seen Scotty, I guess, probably in 30 years now or more than what she'd do, she'd come home and she'd pick up, not quite like this, but she'd get them, they're called daisies, right, what she'd get, and she'd go, he loves me. Yeah. Yeah. She'd grab another pet on it. She'd say, he loves me not. Yeah. He loves me. Anybody ever done this? Yeah. He loves me not. She'd say, she'd say, bro, Hargis, he loves me. Yeah. Yeah. He loves me not. I mean, she just, I mean, and man, the bigger the flower, the more petals she could yeah. pull, and the happier she is getting. Every time she'd say he loves me, I'd see her light up. When he should say he loves me not, she'd look around, and she'd almost get upset, and then she'd say he loves me again. Yeah. And then, then, then she'd say he loves me not. And, yeah. Come on, y'all, y'all been there. He loves me, he loves me not. Just pulling them pills off. Then I started watching her and she started getting down. There's just a few. She said he loves me and she's pulling them slower. And she's looking at them. She's trying, trying to figure out, calculate exactly where that thing's going to start. Stop, she'd say, loves me not. And then she'd cheat if she had to. She'd say, loves me. 
she pulled two up and she might even say, you know, he loves me not. Now she says, he loves me. <laughs> now the end result was, the end result that that 10 year old boy named Scott loved my nine year old aunt named Judy. Amen. Amen. I mean, she was just in awe by him simply. I mean, he wasn't even that cute of a boy if I, you know, be honest with you. Just the way he skated just kind of took her by surprise and grabbed her attention. I remember, I remember this, in September 12th, 1980, I was eight years old, September 12th, 1980. I, my, my mom was working down this textile plant, and uh, this, this young lady had come to work there. She was 17 years old. Yes, she came when she was 16. And uh, uh, she was about to get married. And she needed two young boys to be in her wedding. And it just so happened my mom had two young boys. She had an eight-year-old me at the time. And there was a six-year-old, my little brother. And this lady needed a, somebody to help carry the train. Right. That long yep. train of that veil, you know, and that dress. And had to have another one to be the ring bearer, tote that pillow with right. with the, the rings on it. Then yep. she'd ask my mom, says anyway, them boys could help in my wedding. We don't have we got a lot of girls in the family. We just don't have any boys. Y'all stay with me, I will preach. This is yours. This is right out of the book of Daniel. It's in the originals. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you want something prophetic, I'm giving it to you. She said, any way you boys can help in that way, Mama said, why, well, sure, sir. I'd had the privilege of being in my, my Aunt Downs. That's to me, Judy's the oldest girl. Next one, the next one to my dad, I'd got to be in her wedding. That's the ring bearer. So I thought, well, I'm, 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 you know, I'm good at this. They don't want me probably to tote them rings again. Yeah. You know, and I didn't realize there's a difference in four and eight years old. You took me in as cute by the time you get eight, it's kind of that weird stage. Yeah. Six year olds get the pill. Does anybody hear what I'm saying? I remember I walked in September 12th of that 1980. That was the night of the rehearsal. You know, the night before the wedding, you have to go in there and you have to practice it. Mama said, well, you just don't, you ain't, uh, Gary's going to tote the pillow with the rings, honey, but you go, I, mean, I was a little bit, you know, jealous, envy, strife, uh, yeah. ticked off. Uh, yeah, amen. Yeah. Hey, she said, you just going to help the, the bride with her dress. And I thought, well, that sounds boring. <laughs> but I walked in, there stood this young lady up on the platform, and I was eight and she was 12, but I mean, look, amen. I didn't have to be taught to like girls. Amen. And you know when one looks good. Somebody help me. Come on now. We all don't, hey, lighten up just a minute. Just bless God, look, knock your pitchfork out of the way so quit brushing up against your wings for just a minute. Come on, brother. That's good, brother. Amen. You know I'm telling this right. I mean, you said, well, she's 12 years old. Yeah, she's 12 and she's 8. I mean, I, I like young girls, but I like them a little older. They do. I, I like them when they start looking like young ladies. I mean, yeah, don't criticize me, sir. They do. It's the same way. Amen. Amen. I ain't never met an 8-year-old boy yet. Oh. What's something wrong with him that wasn't interested in a 12-year-old? Blonde hair, blue eyes. Amen. Hey, man, looking good. Amen. 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 Boy, I see him. So they go through and put us in our positions. And everybody's got their own little job. And my brother walks in with this one girl. And they had to walk out together. She walks in throwing fires. And he walks in with that, with that pillow. And they have to walk out together. And I walk in with the bride behind the bride with this girl. And it wasn't that girl that was up there. It was this girl. Amen. So I'm more upset now than I was <laughs> on the way over there. Amen. That's the truth, man. Y'all forget me. Amen. But I'm just going to tell you now how it is. 
Amen. Well, I get in the car right now, and I said, I just want to know why I got to walk the ugly girl. <laughs> the mama said, why, honey? I said, why I got to walk with the ugly girl? I said, I want that other girl. She said, which one? I told her, I said, well, honey, she's like the maid of honor. Are you kidding? I mean, she's the sister to the bride. I mean, she's a lot older than you, and y'all wouldn't be the same size. Well, I don't want to walk with the other girl. I don't walk with that one. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes yeah, and suckers. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Oh, that's good. Amen. So I seen her again the next day. and that, that day, she turned 13 years old. She's really older than me now. Somebody say that. And uh, I still didn't get to walk with her. Still had to walk with the other girl in and out. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. Y'all brought that boy y'all did. I'm going to preach, I promise. Hey, you're fine. Go ahead. You're fine. Amen. Well, this fast forward in time just a little bit. So, eight years later, this boy, this I'm working at the textile plant with that, with that lady that I was in her wedding. I, I went to work there, and she still worked there. In fact, when I went to work there, they put me what was called in her seat. She sat in the middle and she was like a secretary for that set. She she wrote out all the all the, the lot numbers for every role. And then these two ladies over here didn't spend them and she'd make tickets, good or bad. And I put all them rolls, them great big old rolls of cloth inside them machines. I mean eight, ten hours a day, you know, sweating in a hundred by that this before air conditioning. Amen. 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 At least there anyway. <laughs> and at my house too, as far as I know. Amen. Amen. And I happened to work right with that girl. And she, she was like bubbly back. So, man, I just been on years, 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 in my way. <laughs> and then, and then the, 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 her sister come to work there. She said, do you remember my sister Sam? That's why I remember her name, but no, I don't really remember. I, and I do know who she is. I, I've known her around the, you know, we're from the same town. I said, I know who she is. And I, I kind of know her, her, her boyfriend a little bit. So, so I got another sister too. I said, you do? And I was wondering, you know, well, could it be that one? You know. Amen. She said, oh, she's real pretty. I said, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, well, I, was, I mean, I'm not trying to act like I'm attracted to my sister laws, but I'm seeing both of them, I'm thinking, I bet she is. She's saying they look better than y'all. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. I mean, it generally does run in the family. Somebody help me. And I thought, well, she said, you didn't admit I said, yes, I do. Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. Then I say I'm 16. I'm thinking like a 16-year-old. Right. <laughs> it made you thought I was bad at eight. Now I'm 16. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this, this boy that I, I hung around a little bit, he was going to be dating that other girl who worked up there, the sister. Yeah. You know, and I thought, and he wanted me to give him a ride over there, so I gave him a ride to her apartment. And uh, and man, my car broke down in their parking lot of the apartment. Now I had a girlfriend. I mean, you know, what what nothing like, you know. I mean, what what, what the rings on right here? Like, <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend, that stuff's okay, y'all. It's better to let them have boyfriends and girl. That's boys to have girlfriends. <laughs> And Play girls that have boyfriends, uh, yeah. then keep them bottled up around a bunch of girls in a pile, or a bunch of boys in a pile, wonder what happened. Yeah. 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 Amen. If Amen. you don't believe you ask the numbers. Yeah. 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 When the pervert pops up, you'll know why. Yeah. Amen. Hey, Amen. So, so, I mean, I cars broke down. This was before cell phones. Yeah. I don't even know anybody had a beeper. We didn't have a cordless phone yet. You understand? Yeah. We, yeah. Said, we had a long cord. We could walk to another room and carry the whole phone with us. <laughs> the whole thing, yeah. We just had got done the road we're doing. We could push the button, but you still have to take it out. 
Yeah, we just got off the party line. Y'all know what that is? Yeah. 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 Hey, man, we're so, we're so poor we stole the party line. Yeah, yeah and Uncle will just hook it up for you. Hey, man. Yeah. And you can call out. Don't have nobody call you. I thought, what, what happens? FBI coming? I'm seven years old. I mean, if FBI's coming, if I, somebody, I give somebody's phone number, we're in trouble. Yeah. I might give it out and see what would happen. Great next. Is everybody with me? Yeah. Amen. Hey, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Pick up the phone and say, hey, when you get off, I need to call somebody. Yeah. 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 Talk to the neighbors and the neighbors' neighbors and the neighbors' neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going here. I used to fall. Well, I mean, it's a young girl. She's, she's, I guess she's 18. Sandy's probably 18 at the time. And I said, hey, you got a phone? She's like, no, and I thought, well, I should have known that. We we barely got one ourselves. Amen. I mean, who'd think teenagers with their own apartment to start with? Yeah. And then got a set, then got a phone? No, she didn't have a phone. But I just kind of lingered around the premises. There's a few people I really don't know who it all was. I, I really don't remember other than asking for a phone, finding out they didn't have a phone. And then somehow or another, I, I think I had to use the bathroom. Uh, but I, so I went to the, you go to the bedroom and there might have been a door here and a door here, but that door was closed. And they said it's down on the left. So I bypassed that first door, and went up in the bedroom, and uh, and I, I looked and standing in the mirror with the door open was my God. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm flying or dying. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Come on, brother. That's good. Come on. Yeah. In all my life. I, I mean, I won't go in detail. But I can tell you what she had on. My God, son. I mean, leveled me. I was in awe. Right. They said, look, Will, where are you going? I said, well, I... Going right over here, it was Revco, CBS and Ball Mouse. That's one of the Revco. That's where I was going to meet that girl. She worked there. And I said, we'll just give you a ride, just jump in. And, and she kind of missed all of it because she's in there fixing that hair. I don't know if I ever did use the bathroom. I just do like this. <laughs> I mean, I heard wedding bells. <laughs> 16 years old. <laughs> And they gave me a ride, and everybody kind of got out and started coming in. And I was going there, and that girl I said, "Where you been?" You know, they like you could call in. You know, there's no phones. And that car broke down. People from work gave me a ride over here. Person come in, and that boy, and then she came in, and so I'm standing with this girl that I'm supposed to be my girlfriend. I was up until about this point. Flap her wings over there and stood beside us and kind of just butted in and said, Where are you going with me or what? Now, what I guess she's thinking is, you know, he's with her and I showed up and they was kind of putting us together and this is going to be like some kind of double date. She just and I mean, you talking about flattered, honey. <laughs> I didn't go, but brother, brother Frankie, right? Yeah. I, I do know now I should have. Right. Worst night of my life. Amen. <laughs> I mean, when the heavenly bliss asked, "Are you going with me or what?" and you stay with the other girl. You're wanting to come out alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because she wasn't a lesbian, I don't guess. But it was obvious that she looked good. Somebody say, man, what are you going to say? Another lady knows when another lady looks right. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on, don't be bashful. Yes. Sir. yes. <laughs> Amen. That was, come, come. September 13th will be, be the be 42 years ago. Yeah. First time I'd ever seen her. Yeah. And then June 25th just passed with 34 years ago. Yeah. That's all, baby. 
Classic Walmart. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Then I saw her on that night. I want to draw our attention to the last phrase of verse 17. Amen. And I believe all this will make sense. Yep. He said, there remain no strength in me. Amen. Neither. Bless neither was there breath. Neither is there breath left in me. Amen. What Daniel was saying is. He took my breath away. away. That's right. Man. That's what he said. Yeah, man. Yeah. Amen. 34 years ago, she took my breath away. Amen. Oh, but blessed be God. Amen. On August 5th, Amen. 1999, the same darling son of God. Yes. That visited the beloved John. Yep. Oh, let oh, the prophet oh, Daniel took time out yes, to visit a hell bound, yes. drug addicted, yes. alcoholic, yes. yes. sinner. Intimidated by staying. Yeah, go ahead. Amen. Amen. I love hot dogs, but I love the Word of God more. Amen. 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 If it gets too long for you, Presbyterians go on us Baptists go have church. Amen. 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 I won't preach long. I promise. Long. Listen, He takes my breath away. Number one, because I'm strengthened. Right. Because of his touch. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Amen. I'm, hallelujah. Strengthened because of his touch. In verse, well, I see in verse 10, he, it says he touched me. Yeah. Then uh, we'll find in verse 16, whether it be him again or an holy servant angel. That he sent it still his touch. In 16 he touched my lips. In verse number 18 there he came. And he touched me again. One uh, like the appearance of a man. And he it says strengthen me. Yes, Somebody say amen. Amen. I am strengthened by his touch. Amen. I want to say clearly and I'll say most of this in passing. Miss Karen did a good, good job testifying. So I won't spend a lot of time here but I'll say this. It is a helping touch. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 It is a helping touch. Yeah. I mean, if you could yank Elijah out of heaven right now Amen. and say, Elijah, when you were down and discouraged yeah. and depressed and was thinking, on, you preacher. just shouldn't give up on, on. life yeah. and give up on living. How in the world did you ever get out of that, of that dry, dark time underneath the juniper tree? Yeah. He'd say, well, I was just laying there. And all of a sudden it came by and it touched me. Oh, I was down and I looked over. And there was a cake of bacon. Amen. And he told me to eat. 
He said, I just went back down again. He said, but thank God that he wouldn't leave me alone. Amen. That first touch was not a day. Amen. He touched me again. Thank God for the times that in our lives he's touched us. But we ought to get happy tonight Amen. when the first touch is not enough. Amen. He'll touch us again. Amen. He'll make another cake. Yes, He'll pour out a cruise of water. He'll yes. give us Amen. strength for the journey. Amen. He'll help us in the days ahead. Amen. I'm glad, hey, when we don't have strength ourselves. Amen. I'm glad there's a touch from another world. appreciation down March 15th. Now, you'll have to understand that's before before you ever really heard about COVID. You heard whispers of it. It just right. had to come to New York. It just had to come to New York. And I say the thing, some of you may have heard of him, Brother Kenny Baldwin. Yeah. Man. Uh, Brother Kenny had went up to New York, him and Brother Tony Shirley, and they preached a meeting up there, and both of them brought it back. And Brother Shirley got <laughs> married about two hours west of me, but Brother Baldwin came and preached a meeting up close about an hour from us at Haynes Baptist in uh, uh, Winston Salem. Miss Jessica and, uh, and her husband, Brother Daniel, uh, I mean, Brother Daniel loves Brother Baldwin, they went there and hurt him. Now, you don't have, you know, you didn't have to get real close, you just had to be in there. Well, long story short, several people went up at Haynes, went up with COVID, and uh, some of them died, and and unfortunately, Miss Jessica and Brother Daniel could come back to church on Sunday. Now, I'm out starting us. Look, they've been talking about this thing just in case. We are supposed to be having Pastor White Appreciation Day. The, light, the ladies are going to serve the food. You won't be serving yourself. They'll wear gloves and, and, uh, and masks and all this stuff. And don't look at them funny. Just We won't be shaking hands just in case. Sometimes we don't want to get in trouble in the event something happened. We had something like this. Right. Now, at the time, there's no regulations. President Trump has not been on the news yet. Right. None of that's happened. You understand? Yeah. Well, we had our dinner. I left Sunday night heading for Alabama. I preached revival in, in, in Alabama. Got down there and preached Monday nights, three nights is Monday night. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, I woke up and I felt bad. I tell I had a fever. I was sure of it. And uh, right. uh, My wife had had a torn her meniscus. So she didn't travel with us. She stayed home. She didn't feel like she could travel eight hour ride uh, on that leg that had, you know, I mean, it'll be like two, two weeks, maybe three. And I I went in their bedroom and I said, Jenny. She says, I whisper like I'm trying to tell everybody. Right. <laughs> in my I made a thermometer. <laughs> she said, What are you doing? I think I got a fever. So it's just get out of here. <laughs> so I go sit on the couch. <laughs> she comes in there and she says, you better have a beer. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Anyway. I'm popping around and thinking, dear God, I hope this goes up. <laughs> I hope I got COVID right. Look, they used to call it coronavirus. Right. I hope I got the coronavirus or something because if I ain't got a fever, she's going to kill me right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pulled it out. Sure. 101.8. <clears throat> So I, so I took some took some ad then, four of them, yeah. and uh, we went and played golf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a witness? <laughs> amen. Help me right there. That's black for amen. amen. <laughs> Joe Arthur caught me that. Amen. Can you so, <laughs> so we, we just, I thought, well, I, don't feel bad. I don't feel bad now. I didn't know. So I thought that feels like. Right. Oh man, it's nothing. You know, I'm just yeah. whatever. That's right. I told the boys, I said, look, man. I said, I don't think I got no coronavirus, but just in case, I said, I'll ride in a separate cart. You know, y'all get carts together, I'll ride in a separate cart. And then we sat down in the car and I got the preacher's driver. I said, oh man, I'm feeling good. He's in my car and he said, now look, 
We've been, you've been trying to stay away from me right now on the golf course. They give you your keys, you drive your car, your steering wheel. Well, your sickness all over and you're trying to protect me? I said, well, so be it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we got time to tell it all, okay? got time to tell it all. But in the next next one hour, my phone began to blow up. People in my church began to call. You, you called me already at 12. 12. I said, look, we won't be at church tonight. We all sick. We all sick. We all run. I said, what kind of sick? I said, run through the ball. Hmm. <laughs> Brother Russ called Brother Russ, Brother Russ in heaven now with heaven from COVID. And he called me and said, he was, he was barking. I mean, my God. He said, he said, he said, I'm about to die. He said, I, I, said, I can't get no peace. He said, I don't want to be at church tonight. Amen. And I mean, in just a few minutes, I had, I had nine phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, just <laughs> one phone. Then I thought, man, I mean, I, I really, I mean, Okay, can I, can I just back up this thing? I'm trying to say a time. The day before, the day before, the day before I told me that preacher, President Trump came on, on the news on Tuesday. And he started saying, look, we're going to have to go on a lockdown and all this. We're going yeah, yeah, to knock me 50 and all that. And I, and I thought, and then that preacher, he's nervous. He's a young man, you know, young preacher, nervous. He, he went to his bedroom and he cut back out his face and forth. He's got his phone he's, all that thing like, it's a preacher. They're saying probably 8% of America's going to get this. I said, well, that's God, if I'm going to get it, let's get it, get it over with. That's why I said, preacher. 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 So, bro, that, he goes back to that bedroom. He comes up by another hour. I'm sitting there trying to study. You know, you know, he said, he's a preacher. What I'm reading, if you get it, all strong you, it's going to kill you. I said, just bury me right here, brother. Bang around, man. What's <laughs> 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 24 hours later, a year, less than 24, 12, honestly, 12 hours later after them comments. I, I started running that fever at 3 o'clock morning, knew it. I, went, I didn't wake up until 7, y'all. I, I think that was being yeah. courteous. I had to go play golf then, I had to get up. Somebody say amen. <laughs> she keeps saying, but I had a baby. Well, I know that's why I said, Judy. I didn't say, Judy. Amen, brother. Amen. Go home to the test. I was the first to pick first in five counties of COVID. <laughs> nobody, nobody in Alabama had it. Nobody in our county had it. We don't have like one or two in our whole state. That's around right. Charlotte, not, not even rural area like this far. But I'm the, I mean, I, I, I was not the first test that came back positive, but I was the first person that was tested that had a positive. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Long story short, I'm out, you know, fast forward, put me out another week. I'm, I'm on the hospital. Within two days, I'm on the ventilator. And, you know, like they told me, you do understand this is life support. I mean, they, I, I wasn't on there just to uh, have some help breathing. I was a dead man. Right. Yeah. I mean, without it, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in glory. Yeah. Before yeah. I went, before I went, they come out and look. He said, it was this, it was this Southern Baptist. Missionary kid. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Amen. Amen. Thank they you. just so happened get to be my doctor. Amen. 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 I ain't all for all Southern Baptists are. Right, but right. That room I'd been in, or I hadn't seen or touched anybody in 10 or 11 days. You're talking about solitary confinement. Right. My, 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 my IVs was running through a door. And closed, and they peep in. They write notes on the glass. Right. That's how we communicate. Yep. Yeah. People I seen were in space suits, and right. With what air conditions inside of them. I'm not joking. Hey, yeah. Miss Joker coming there. He said, "Look, I want you to understand something." He said. If I have to put you on a ventilator, I'm going to do it too soon, not too late. <laughs> so you okay with that? I said, well, I trust you. So I ain't got no choice to do so. Well, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. He said, my dad's a Baptist missionary. My brother's a Baptist pastor right now. Hey, Come on, brother. Yeah. Believe yeah. Believe yeah. Believe yeah. Believe he said, I'm going to save your life. <laughs> <laughs> Believe Go ahead, brother. He said, because God needs me to. Amen. And he said, 
Can I pray with you? Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 That's well, I wish you would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody I'd seen was just eyeballs of anything. They's wearing three. They's wearing two masks and the and the and the equipment. The ones I see. Yeah. <clears throat> he took everything. He tore it off. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. He said, God. Amen. Tears is really yes. on his face. Yeah. Heaven came down. Yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. Get the COVID yes. The part yes. that I turned my room. Oh, that's good, He said, God. Yes. I need to save this preacher's world. I want you to help me to help him. I just want to thank God when there is no strength left in you and you don't know how in the name of God you'll ever make it. I'm glad that the sovereign God of the universe who is sovereignly seated upon the throne can step down out of the portals of glory Sit down right where you are. Put his touch on yes. you yes. and help you yes. with nothing else. Yes. Amen. 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 Brother, that's good. Amen. Real good. Amen. I've been around many a child of God going to heaven. Many. Watched my mom slip off in turn. She'd been on life support for days. When she was brain dead, she was on that lead days, and we wait for all kinds of test results to come back, and we let them cut it off, you know. And I knew she was brain dead. She was, she was ready to go. She told her to make that clear. Amen. And, uh, they turned that thing off. She's gone. A minute, 11 seconds, she went to glory. Not that machine. Uh, I understand them, all the monitors, very well, not just from being in there, but watching her. Uh, Stayed by her bed every night. I didn't go preach. I got back and went right back in there. Never preached more than driving distance during that time. Because I lived with us about two hours. I came back home. Went straight to the hospital from there. Whew. I understood all of them. I understood the you know, O2 saturation. I understood that you one just reads your reps. You know, the lady that nurse told me, my mama said, what this means here is what we're trying to do their heart had stopped. They had to get it back going and brain died from that. We tried to get this right here where her ribs will stay between 12 and 24 breaths a minute. Right. Mine was between 45 and 55. Oh, two saturation was in the 70s on full fledged, every bit of oxygen they had in the building. There's nothing left. And my chest was pumping up off that bed. And I looked over at that monitor and I watched it just a minute and I seen them reps just keep climbing. And I thought, I smiled. I said, God, you're going to kill me right here, ain't you? Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. And I, I laughed. I thought, well, this ain't exactly how I planned it and how they plan this. <laughs> and uh, a little old nurse, I guess she's about 20. I never would have thought. I thought she's 12. Right. <laughs> I can see her through that window they had out there for her. And she had little cracks in the blinds and she could peep in on me. She wasn't coming in there and life depended on her record. And I said, and she just looked at me. And I pointed at that monitor. And then I called my wife. I said, I'm going to tell this, but I don't know why, but I am. I go ahead. I, I don't have told him probably two times in my life. Come on, brother. Go ahead, brother. You're fine. I called my wife. I don't want to say it for myself. You know, I had to pull a mask on. Then they go like this, you know. <laughs> right. I said, tell her to get in here. And I gave her all my stats. So you tell her this, 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 and this. And I hung up and put my mask back on. And I watched the phone picked up. And I thought, here she'll come in here now. She just kept sitting there. Right. <laughs> I thought she don't give a rip. Right. Huh? Yeah. Then, and phone picked up again. Within seconds, whole team coming there. At least a half a dozen, maybe a dozen. I mean, it was 
so crowded. I mean, I was just overtaking when I was trying to text my wife as fast as I could. Mm -hmm. Breathing's worse, going on bent. She'd been awake for 20 some hours at that point. She dozed off for just a few seconds. Just a few seconds. And uh, didn't get the text till it was, I was gone. 11 days, I'm not talking about 11 days on pipe, awake. I mean, right. I, was, I was in a full blown coma. The entire time, no, every time they try to whip me up, I go, I'm just going to cardiac arrest. Uh, two or three times they asked to cut me off. Y'all get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. When there's no strength. Right. That's right. Boy, well, yeah. 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 oh, that's sure good right there. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. There's no strength. Oh, I'm strengthened by his to you know why he takes my breath away. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen, Amen, brother. I'm strengthened by his touch. Amen. 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 I'm a preacher, I'm not his taste, a helping touch. Amen. Amen. It is. And, uh, oh, yes. and I, I, it's, a, it's a humbling touch. Yes, yes. You don't know how humbling it is? And you like prize fighting, you like boxing. Anybody Amen. call in here one, two? Amen. Oh, yeah. Y'all pray for me. I like boxing. <laughs> Show y'all my carnality right now. See how flesh I like boxing, like sports. Go ahead, bro. Nobody knows anything about boxing, knows you get knocked down, they count to 10. Right, yeah. You, and you try to get up, and you don't, it's over. And yeah. Sometimes if it looks pretty bad, it's over anyway. Right. But I have found this out. If you punch somebody just right and they fall forward, yeah. they usually don't count. They don't get back in the <laughs> You hit them, they fall forward. They, there's no life in them. Yeah. They just they just they bounce off the bat. Yeah. They hit. That, 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 that referee don't go around and start saying, now, one. No. He goes, no. and the paramedics no. rush in. Yeah. That's right. Is that right? Yeah. That's, right. That's a knockout. Yeah. Yep. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Amen. For the man that got knocked out, that's very humbling. Yeah. Yeah. Once you buy the verse number nine, yet heard I the voice of his words. And when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in a deep sleep on my face yes. and my face toward the ground. Yep. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey Amen. What he's saying is, he knocked me out. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he, hey, he's so ugly. He takes my breath away. Yeah. He is my knockout. Yeah. He leveled. He leveled. Yeah. He Strengthened by his touch. So many touch helps me. It's a holy touch. Oh, yes. Boy, he just knows how to love us, don't he? Amen. 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 My dad was married five times. Had children by two other women. I got two twin brothers I've never met. I mean, you know. He is a whoremonger. Right. Yeah. Amen. Done all right. Yeah. Don't go in shock. He knows it. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. He, uh, Amen. Grandma's going to let him move in. See, he's got a fifth divorce. Well, the first, fifth marriage. He married her on Saturday. Left her for a girl on Monday. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. And, uh, they all done with him. His spell hit a rough spot, I guess. Yeah. And they's all done with him for a little while. Right. He had to go back home at 50 years old. Right. And Grandma said, uh, she says, they, they tried to explain it to me. They said, no. they're, they're my church members. Grandma and Grandpa are some of my church members back right? this early part of the church. I said, they, we're going to let him come home. I said, are you kidding? They didn't call, they didn't call me the Pope and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Amen, brother. I'm saying, what well, you know? I'm talking about the women and all. She said, "Well, honey, he can't help it. He just loves people." <laughs> oh Lord! That one way look at it. See, the thing was. My grandma knew how to love unconditionally. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's good. Come on, oh, man. I'm not even saying it in any disrespect. I mean, oh. she loved everybody. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, Halloween, she didn't believe in Halloween, but she'd sit on her porch 
and hand out chick tracks. Amen. <laughs> To every kid that came by, pulled a piece of candy and a chick track in the bag. <laughs> if you came by and you were stoned out of your minds and say, Can I pray with you? I'll tell you, she loved everybody. And hey, as far as looking at her boy and seeing his wickedness and his evilness, she just loved him unconditionally. I just want to say tonight, I got a God. Amen. Even as sorry and filthy and low down as we are, we can be hormones and harlots, drunkards and drugs, and somehow they'll step in on our scene. Leave us in all. Yeah. And he can't help but yeah. fall in love with him. Yeah. His touch is absolutely so holy. Amen. Amen, brother. That is the truth. That's right. Oh, that's good. Amen. He'll take everything that you were. That's right. Amen. Right. And you can walk away from it to be with him. Yeah. Amen, like it had never happened yeah. yep. before. That is right. Amen, brother. Somebody Amen. here. Yeah. Amen. 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 Strengthened because of his touch. I am preaching too long. No. Preach on, preacher. No. Real good. Oh, when I say number two, y'all gonna die. <laughs> no. Preach on. Preach, Preach on. on. Yeah. yeah. Right. Preach on. Let me just about read it to you. 15, look what it said in 15. When he's spoken such words, but that's that word. When he's yeah. voice such words. Oh, now. Me, I set my face, face toward the ground, and I became dumb. Yeah. Oh, Not only am I strengthened because of his touch, but I'm speechless yeah. because of his truthfulness. Yeah. yeah. When somebody takes your breath away, you don't know what to say. My mind went back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amen. He used about. He's used about. I don't know if I used the bathroom. <laughs> Did I have to use the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. He's the bathroom. Say it. I mean. <laughs> Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> Described as he had spoken such words unto me. In verse 1, he said the thing was true. In verse 11, when he had spoken this word unto me. In verse 21, that which is noted in the scripture of truth. Amen. Hey true words, let me give you this quickly, are convicting words. Yes, Amen. 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 The truth has the ability to reach inside of your Amen. sinful nature and shake hell out of you. Amen. Amen. They're convicting words. True words are convincing words. The whole idea in verse 14, and he said to me, O Daniel, man greatly beloved, I understand the words that I speak unto thee. Excuse me. Understand the words that I speak unto thee. I want you to get this. Yep. Aren't you glad what he says is convincing? Amen. I wish I had about two hours to tell you this, but I'll make it real brief and quick. I don't remember anyone ever explaining to me the gospel message the first time. Amen. 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 Yes, that's true. I don't remember sitting in a primary Sunday school class and someone said, now, now Jeff, I want you to understand that Jesus Christ died on the cross. I, don't, I, I can't remember that. Right. I'll tell you what I can remember. My dad went to prison before I was two years old. And instead of church on Sunday, we went to prison on Sunday. That's visitation right. day. And that's where we went. My dad took a little art class in prison and he painted this this little picture of Jesus Christ on the cross, sight driven, the crown of thorns, and King of Kings, I mean, King of the Jews, I mean, great detail, pierced hands, pierced feet, 
mouth, blood spilled on the ground. Amen. 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 I mean, great detail. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess what I'm saying is I always yeah. knew the gospel. Right. But that didn't save me. That's right, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, Come on. I mean I, 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 when my dad got in prison, didn't come home, we never had a dad around the house. My, that's the one, one item, the one treasure I had from my dad was that picture. I kept it for years and years. It finally got damaged in a little uh, flood we had there at the house, and it got ruined. But, I mean, I, outside, I mean, do you understand? I never had someone that I could remember for the first time tell me the gospel. Yeah. But my God, when I heard it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Come on, brother. I'm telling you, I've seen it. I, I understood it here. Oh, no. But yeah. thank God those words were so convincing that they jumped down inside my soul. Amen. And I understood it here. Amen. 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 In my heart. I was in my mind. But it went inside my ears. So then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. I'm glad thank God the word took up residence in my soul. That's so good. Oh, that's good. Amen. Comforting words. He said in about 19. Fear not, he said, peace be unto thee. Hey man, he tells him, be strong. Yeah, he be strong. Those are all words of peace. That's right. I say glory to God. Come on, hey, man. that's good, brother. Real These good. are complimenting words. Come on, brother, go ahead. Hey man, on, I stand in awe and amazement because how his words are complimenting. If you were to take and look at verse number Verse number 18, I said he touched me, right, in 18. But it is a conjunction in verse number 19 and said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not. If you continue reading down, if you continue reading down, that's when he says, I was strengthened. Yeah. That strengthened didn't come by a touch of all, right. but it was complemented by his word. Amen. 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 brother. Strengthened by his touch. Speechless because of his truthfulness. Amen. Lastly, tonight, I'm secure Amen. because of his Amen. timelessness. Amen. It's not my timelessness, right. but he is timeless. Yeah. Amen. He is Alpha Amen. and Omega. He's the beginning on, and the end. Yeah, he hey man, he's the same right. yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Isaiah said he is. He, Isaiah calls him the Holy One or the Holy One of Israel no less right. than 30 times. Amen. Hey man, if he was the one in Isaiah's time Amen. and he was the one before Isaiah's time, Amen. he's been the one since Isaiah's Amen. time. Amen. He's the one. He's still the one. He's still the one. He's still the one. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. In verse 1, the time appointed was long. That didn't bother him a bit. In verse 14, it describes in the latter days a vision for many days. In chapter number seven, in fact, he is the ancient of days. In, 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 uh, in Exodus three, he's the I am that I am. Uh, yeah. That declares yeah. him as the self-existing right. one. Uh, yeah. Needing no help from anyone. Yeah. Uh, right. Amen. The same one that stepped out on nothing uh, and spoke everything into existence. Uh, in Genesis one last uh, night, we said he's God. In Genesis two, he is Lord Amen. God. Uh, in Malachi 3, I am the Lord, and I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. I'm absolutely secure because he is timeless. Because God cannot die. He cannot decay. Amen. He can't even 
get discouraged. I just want to thank God because of Him. I am tonight what I am. I safely secure. He has taken my breath away. I was in all then and I'm still in all tonight. There's never been anything like Him. Amen. 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 His righteousness is pure. Yeah. His record is perfect. Exactly His right. reach is powerful. Amen. His rest is persistent. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. How many of you like getting up in the morning? Amen. Come on now. Amen. His reign is perpetual. Amen. And this same God. Amen. Look how he describes his servant. Verse 11. And he said unto me, Oh, Daniel, a man greatly beloved. Verse 19, and said, O man, greatly beloved. That's as if to say, that's right. as if to say, he loves me. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, brother. He loves you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 He loves me. Amen. I don't know how good you can read some. Y'all read that text there in chapter 10. And you can see if anywhere you'll find there's a he loves me not. Amen. Oh, That's right. That's good. Brother. He just said, He just said he loves me. Amen. Exactly right. Yeah. Amen. He loves me. He said he loves me greatly. Great. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Oh. Amen. He loves me. Never one time, y'all hear me? Not one time. <laughs> not one time will just be saying, he loves me not. Amen. Amen. Right. He just kept saying he loves me. Yeah. That's right. He loves me. Amen. He loves me. Amen. If I don't make you happy, something. Yeah. Amen. If I don't leave you in awe. Come on. Man. <laughs> if I don't take your breath away. Cutest kid, you know, you are, but he wasn't. 
like me, a little on the heavy side. Yeah. What's special? Nothing special about him. The oldest kid in there. But like all the other kids, you know, they all leave right young and he's been around long enough now by the time he's 10 years. But usually they just wind up in foster care the rest of their life. Nobody ever knows that. Right. Getting out of foster care. When that preacher walked in, he looked around and said, he looked at all the small babies. He looked at the toddler kids. He looked at the pretty little girls. So good. Just kept strolling through there. Yeah. Yeah. He said, man, he just looked at me. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Yeah. I love it. He said, well, I'll take him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He said, he took me home then. Yeah. Boy, he loved me. <laughs> he loved me like I was his very own. Yes. Yeah. Amen. That's so good. He never, never yes. criticized or judged me for what, what, what I was before. Come on. Amen. Amen. It just brought me in the house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Somebody asked him, so what did you do? He said, well, I just loved him back. Yeah. Are you hearing me? The best I can describe is what he's saying is, well, he loved, we love him because he first loved us. He keeps shoveling the love on me. And I just keep giving my love back. I'm telling you tonight, if we want revival, we ought to just love on Jesus. Just like Jesus has loved on us. Give a little back. Give a little back. Give him to him. Like he's Amen. Thanks for my breath away. Amen. Yes. Good. Thank God. Thanks. Breath ever gets taken away. Right. You won't get over it. That's right. right. Amen. 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 That's real. You won't get over it. Good. 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 Good.